set. Executing. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, CDROM1019. Welcome to Tales of Monkey Island, Chapter 2, The Siege of Spinner K. Alright, I'm super excited, ready to move uh, the story forward. When we last left off, Guybrush was taking the uh, Screaming Manatee out of Flotsam Island and got held up by a mysterious swords person on the Screaming Manatee. We're going to find out who that is and how we move forward. Settings look good. Let's start the adventure. Here we go. It has been said what fates impose that men must need abide. It boots not to resist both wind and tide. Yet, Guybrush Treepwood has somehow managed to turn the tides of fate by removing the voodoo curses from his nemesis, Lechuk. Infected himself, Guybrush escaped the scientific experiments of the Marquis de Sange and managed to divert the ill winds of change, an action which could alter his own fate as well as the fate of the entire Caribbean. That is, if he lives long enough. <laughs> Ominous. Guybrush Threepwood. I've been waiting a long time for this. Now, wait a minute. I'm sure there's been some mistake. I don't even know you. Well, allow me to introduce myself. I am Morgan LaFlay, mighty pirate hunter. My name is Feared Across Ooh. the Seven Seas. I've taken down some of the most... Hello, nurse. ...from here to Zanzibar. It's an honor to finally face off against the legendary Guybrush Threepwood. LaFlay? But you're a woman. I thought, wait, you've heard of me? Have I heard of you? Guybrush Threepwood, the pirate who destroyed the ghost pirate LeChuck single-handedly? Who discovered the mythical treasure of Big Wolf? Who escaped the inescapable Carnival of the Damned? I've been following you my whole life. Wow. Don't be too flattered. I'm here for the job. The Marquis de Singe wants that hand of yours, so I'm bringing you in. And don't even try your insult sword fighting technique on me. That's something only farm boys use these days. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Oh! I was using that. Oh, this is gonna be good. Pick up your sword and face me like a man. Why? You just... Like your man or you like wanted the man. hand, you just cut it off. I... I don't understand. Uh, okay, well... Uh, how did you get on my ship? How did you get on my ship anyway? I simply grappled aboard while you were busy staring out at the sunset. You aren't very observant, you know. By the way, my grapple hook got stuck, so you owe me a new one. I don't think that's how that works. Okay, so every time we talk to her, we're gonna move. So I gotta, you, I gotta look around and see what I can use to stop this fight. Winslow, put that barrel up there to keep it from rolling around on deck. Or to keep me from breaking it. Hmm. Hey, where's Winslow? You better not have heard him, you salty sea witch. He's fine. I've just got him tied up in the main quarters. Keep your head in the fight. Don't worry about me, Captain. I am sure I can wriggle my way out of these ropes eventually. Hey, stop pecking at my hand. Get off my hand, stupid bird. I hate birds. Hmm, this could come in handy. You climbed onto my ship with this? Where's the rope part? Well, obviously I kept the rope. You wouldn't believe the number of situations a length of rope comes in handy for. For example, using it to tie up your first mate. <clears throat> yeah, well, I'm keeping the hook. Go ahead. I'll just take it back after I kill you. Hmm. <clears throat> Aren't you getting tired yet? Not a chance. I train myself by studying your moves. I can match you blow for blow. Heck, I can even hold my breath for five minutes, just like you. Ha! Huh. I can hold my breath for ten minutes. You mean that's true? I thought the stories were exaggerated. Impressive. Hmm. 
Hmm, interesting. That means something, but it's held together by that rope. Ah, I've got an idea. <laughs> That's the mast of my ship, the screaming narwhal. Yes, I know what a mast is. I think Winslow put that barrel up there to keep it from rolling around on deck, or to keep me from breaking. <clears throat> okay, so I need that to. Can't we just agree to disagree? Not gonna happen. Back off, woman. Never! Oh man, if that barrel breaks, Winslow is gonna be mad. Hmm, okay, now what? Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated! With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated! Well, good, good, uh, good response. Filled with fish and just barely hanging on up there. Look behind you, a three-headed sea chimp. No thanks, I've already had lunch. No, that's taking it too far. Hmm. Morgan, I hate to do this to a fan, but you did cut off my hand. What? Uh oh. See ya. You are good, Guybrush Threefoot. Well, I hate to battle and run, but I've got to see a doctor about this hand. Here I come, Captain Threefoot. Where is the lass? A runner through it, use her for fish bait. She's gone. And she took my hand. Let's get after her. Let her go, Mr. Winslow. I've got to find Elaine. Last time I saw her, she was falling into LeChuck's evil clutches. Looked like a cheerful, friendly moment to evil me. Evil clutches. We're not going far with the mast in that shape. The cowardly <clears throat> cutthroat must have released the counterweight I set up to keep the mast balanced. Now it's cracked. It is? It is indeed. It may be just a hairline fracture, but I can tell. We'll have to take it easy until we can get her fixed. Very well, Mr. Winslow. We'll head for the Jerkbait Islands. Right! We can have our mask repaired there. Uh, sure. Also, that's the direction Elaine was headed. I'll steer while you navigate. I mounted the map outside your quarters for your convenience. Hmm. Okay, let's tell Mr. Winslow where to go, I guess. Set sail, Mr. Winslow. Uh, let's see. We don't definitely don't want to go back to Flotsam. To the Jerkbait Islands. The Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Are we there yet, Mr. Winslow? Hi, Captain Spinner K, the main epicenter of the Jerkbait Islands. Really? Where is everybody? Hmm. It's been many years since I've been here, but if the city is still inhabited by merfolk, I'd say underwater. Merfolk? <laughs> Maybe I'll meet a pretty mermaid. Uh, well, uh, 
Uh, you're right. Maybe later. First, I've got to make sure Elaine is safe from the evil of LeChuck. Don't forget, before we can set out to sea again, we'll need our mast repaired. Right, right. We need a plastic pair. Got it. <coughs> Mermaids. You don't listen too good, guy rush. All right, Siege of Spinner K. Here we go. So first uh, order of business, we need to get our mast repaired. All right, onward. Hmm, that looks like people. Hi, sailor. Ah. Oh, take it easy. A big, strong pirate like yourself afraid of a little old McKinley like me? <laughs> Sorry about that. So, are you a mer... That's right. I am 100% pride McKinleyan merfolk. Tail kind of gave it away, huh? So what brings you to Spinner K? I'm looking for Elaine. I'm looking for my wife, Elaine. She's the most beautiful pirate you've ever seen. With silky red hair and eyes as green as summer grog. Oh, that's so sweet. You know, I think I did see her. She and that other guy arrived about an hour before you did. Uh, you saw her with some other guy? You saw Elaine with some other guy? Who was he? Some big jerk? I could probably take him. You know... If I had to. But Elaine is usually okay, right? Yeah, I think so. She went right over to the royal chamber, and the guy set off into the jungles with an armful of monkeys. Royal chamber. Got it. I'll deal with the monkey smuggler later. Uh, you ever heard of Dacaba? Ever hear of a man named Dacaba? I'm supposed to show him this locket. You mean crazy sponge guy? Yeah, I remember him. Last time I saw him, he was putting together a crew to go after some mystical sea urchin or something. I haven't seen him in a while, though. He used to have a little shelter out on Roe Island. Hmm. Can I ride the raft? Ooh, raft. Can I ride it? Do you have a pass? <coughs> uh, I do not. Well, I can't let you get by on your good looks alone. You're going to have to get yourself a transit pass. Uh, where can I get one? Where can I get a transit pass? You may be able to get one from our chieftain, Beluga, and the royal chain. But it looks like there's some kind of dispute going on right now. Hmm. Should see if I can fix that. Hey, I need to get my mast fixed. Do you know where I can get my mast repaired? I sure do. There is a shop right inside our town. Just follow the cave path, and it'll take you right there. Okay. Thank you. I gotta run. Uh, no offense. I'm taken. That looks like Elaine. Give me what I want, or we'll tear your whole town to pieces looking. You and your men shall not have the ancient summoning artifacts. Then maybe we'll move on to your innits and tear those to pieces Look at you overgrown tadpole. Please calm down. I'm sure we can find a solution that works for everyone. Elaine! Guybrush! Oh, Guybrush, thank goodness you're all right. I've been worried sick about you. First the explosion, then that big cloud of voodoo pops you released from the chuck started infecting pirates all over the Caribbean. That was an accident. The sword was crooked. The spell was misspelled. The breathments had artificial ingredients. It wasn't my fault. I bet there was a conspiracy. Oh my god! Your hand! What hand? Exactly. What happened to your hand? And where is your wedding ring? Uh -oh. Um, well, it happened like this. Arr, I should gut you where you stand. I better get back there before they kill each other. Here, take my ring. Oh, no, that's the one I... Just take it. Trust me. And don't lose it, Guy Brush Threepwood. Oh, come on. Who's absent-minded enough to lose two wedding rings? <laughs> it's me, Guy Brush Threepwood. <laughs> Why did Pirate? Shut up, you. Well, that's sweet. That was the big engagement ring we gave her in uh, Monkey 3, I think. Let's forget about the artifacts for a moment. The artifacts are sacred. I will not let them fall into the wrong hands. Can we agree to disagree? This is... Oh, what's everybody talking about? Arr, me and my men seem to have come down with a touch of the sickly pox. Yeah. And these half-breed halibuts know how to get a hold of a cure, but they won't give it up! We'll never give you the summoning items, Captain McGillicuddy. Not after the years of polluting our sacred waters. So we accidentally spilt a few barrels of spoiled grog over the years. Accidentally, my dorsal fin. Ah, oh, shut your blowhole! Gentlemen, please. I'm sure you and 
Chieftain Beluga can come to some kind of agreement. Uh, what's this about a cure? What's this about a cure? The Vakalians hold an ancient prophecy that tells of a mythical sea sponge with the power to soak up voodoo energy. Like a sponge grande? Yes. But to find the sponge grande, you must first summon the legendary sea creatures who can guide you to its location. Aye! And that's why we need the rest of those summoning items. My men have already recovered one of them. May as well just hand over the rest. Uh, okay. You mentioned summoning artifacts. That sounds cool. Our prophecies speak of three golden artifacts that have been hidden throughout these islands. They are in the form of the ancient gods of the ocean, the wise turtle, noble seahorse, and the cranky fish. Cranky fish? Oh, the prophecies are very old. Some of the translations may be a bit off. When these artifacts are combined, and so many of the words recited, the legendary sea creatures will rise from the ocean and lead you to the source of the cure. Okay. Uh, what are the legendary sea creatures? What are these legendary sea creatures? Though I have never seen them, the prophecies say they are a physical representation of the ocean gods on Earth, and that they will lead the way to the mouth and the sponge. Mouth? Enough of this! The only mouth you need to be concerned with is the one I'm gonna shove a hook through if I don't get no summoning artifact. I'm sure we can come up with a slightly less grisly approach if we try. Um. Do you know the ritual words by heart? Do you know the ceremonial ritual words by heart? I do. And as chieftain of the Vacalians, I am the only one that does. Maybe you could tell Captain McGillicutty some of the ritual words if he agrees to take only half the sponge. You'll be telling them all to me, or you'll be our chieftain catch of the day come supper. Um. Hey, the raft. I noticed a cool raft down by the docks. How would I go about getting a ride on that? Ah, you wish to enjoy our state-of-the-art human transportation system. Here you go, honey. I already purchased a few all-day transit passes. Doing my part to support the economy, you know. All right. Thanks, Lenny Poop. <laughs> Not in front of company, dear. Oh, sorry, Lenny Poop. <laughs> um. Do you know about Decava? Have any of you ever heard of Coronado Decava? I was told to look for him here and show him a locket. I do remember this man. He too was obsessed with finding La Esponja Grande. But I have not seen him around in Spinner Cay for some time. Perhaps he gave up. Or died in the pursuit. If you gave him the summoning items, I swear I've got every one of you. No one is gutting anyone. We can work this out peacefully. Um, I thought you worshipped wind gods. I thought you guys <coughs> worshipped wind gods. Yes. Some of our people tried evolving and living on land ages ago, but they always come back to the sea. Okay. Elaine, you got a second? Hey, honey. Can I talk to you for a second? Of course, dear. What is it? Um. You wouldn't believe what I've had to go through to find you. A crazy homicidal French doctor? An island with winds that kept everybody from leaving. I even faced off against the infamous pirate hunter, Morgan Le Flay, and she, uh, he's just as vicious as people say. Well, I wish I could have been there for that. So, have you been trying to find me, too? Of course, dear. That's why you came here. Well, that and the monkeys. Uh, were you really worried about were you me? you really worried about me? I mean, you did stop to chat with these fish people. Guybrush, we came here looking for you. If we had tried to leave, the ugly, diseased pirate over there was going to have us killed. I had to stay. Partly for the you monkeys? Said you came here partly for the monkeys. What monkeys? You know what? All those poor monkeys that Chuck had cast a spell over on my ship. Well, we were able to gather them all up, and we're going to make sure they all get back to their proper habitat. Several of them are native to the jerk bait islands. Sounds like you spent more time rescuing monkeys than you did looking for me. I can do anything those monkeys can do. I've seen you scratch your behind in the morning. You're very talented. Mm. All right, I guess that's all. I guess that's all I have to say. Hmm. Summoning artifacts? You mentioned summoning artifacts. I think I asked this already. Our prophecies speak of three... Yeah, I did. 
Okay. Um, gotta go, I guess. Well, this is really between you and the fish people. Hope you guys get things worked out. Nice chatting with you. Come on, Elaine, let's go. Hi, Brush. We can't leave. <laughs> Why not? I've got a new ship and everything. These pirates are acting under the influence of the pots. And since we are the ones responsible for releasing said pots, this conflict is really all our fault. We're gonna stick around and clean up this mess. But I can handle things here, but you've got to get your hands... Uh, sorry. I mean, you've got to get hold of those summoning artifacts. They are the key to everything. McGillicutty's men have got one of them stashed somewhere. Before you turned up, I was about to go to Row Island to follow up on a lead, and I've got the chuck looking for the third one on Spoon Isle. What? The chuck? You let him go? You sent him on a mission? Yes, don't worry, dear. He's harmless. I'm sorry. I thought I just heard you describe LeChuck, fearsome, voodoo, ghostly, demonic, pure, evil, incarnate pirate LeChuck, as harmless. I wonder when I started hallucinating. Guybrush, he's different, and I don't have time to argue. He's going to need your help. Please, my swashbuckling sea stud. Ugh. Damn it, doe eyes. I hate how those always work. Yes. I'll be your best friend. Negative. Come on. <laughs> no. Please. <laughs> no. Pretty please. Nope. Pretty please with marshmallows. No way. Oh, me. Get it. <laughs> I'll make it worth your while. Ooh. That sounds really good. Not gonna happen. I'm your wife. <sighs> Fine. Uh, fine. So you'll be my personal pirate paladin and get those summoning items while I stall these guys? Okay. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, how about this? We each get one summoning item and go our separate ways. Arr, what's the point of that? I'll never let them have our sacred items. Well then, what do you two suggest? Give me the summoning artifact. I hate to give out secrets of relationship, but ladies, that's how you get it done. Works all too often. Okay, need to find a shop, apparently. Where's this go? Ah, here's the shop. Fresh bait. Hi there. I understand you do ship repair here. You! I thought I told you to stay away from this place, especially after that stunt you played at the Royal Aquarium. But I. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, handsome. It's me, Anemone. Oh. Uh, you got me. How'd you get up here? I swam. So, oh, what did you say you needed? Mass repair, please. I need my mass repair. Sure thing. You want a patch job or a full mass repair? Uh, it's just a crack. I guess a patch job will do. See, that's how they get you. A patch job is basically the same amount of work as a full replacement. But it's certain to go bad on you a lot faster. I give you a full mass replacement. I'll be right back. Why do I have that song stuck in my head? <laughs> there we go, all fit. Your man, Mr. Winslow, took care of the bill. Nice guy, that Reggie. Does he have a cousin? Uh, that was easy. So you sell bait and repair ships here. That's an odd pairing. Well, times are tough. Sometimes you gotta pick up an extra job or two just to earn enough sand dollars to live on. That's tough. You think that's bad? <laughs> this place used to be a bait shop and feed some joint. And I still couldn't sell any anchovies. How'd you repair it so fast? How'd you repair my ship so fast? I'm telling you, mass replacement is easy. There are a whole slew of trees out there on Spoon Isle Beach just perfect for mass. Not to mention the fact that they are just sitting by the water's edge where I can easily grab one. I just float one over to your ship, a flip, a flop, and it's done. Yeah, cool. About uh, Spoon Isle. These trees on Spoon Isle. Can anyone just take one? Technically, sure. But they're pretty heavy. I'd suggest leaving it to the experts. Okay, can I have some bait? Can I have some bait? Sure. I 
would you like to pay for it? I'll trade you a pyrite parrot. Sorry, we don't take those. No. We also don't accept personal checks, traveler's checks, credit, barter, foreign currency, or local currency. You don't even take local currency? <laughs> what do you accept? Coupons. Uh, okay, about coupons. About those coupons? Uh, do you have one? Can you give me one anyway? No, but can't you be a sweetheart and give me one anyway? Uh, what are you doing? Are you flirting? Um, I don't know. Look, it's really easy. Just bring me a coupon and I'll give you some back. Got it? Yep. <laughs> well, that didn't work. Okay. Guess we can leave now. Library. Hmm. Tetra. Hello, sailor. Hello, squishy fish person. <laughs> Hello, pudgy human. My name is Tetra. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood and... Pudgy? Have you come to our library to read up on the rich cultural history of the Vakalian race? No, actually, but I do have a few other questions. I'm not pudgy. Uh, okay, tell me about tell history. Me about Vakalian history. Did you know that centuries ago, we merfolk bypassed evolution and used Vakalian science to obtain legs on which to walk on land? Nope. I can safely say I did not know that. We used that same technology to reattach our tails when we returned to Mother Ocean. It's fascinating. Oh, yeah, fascinating. All this knowledge and more can be found right here in your local library. Uh, ever hear of Dekava? Ever hear of a guy named Dekava? I have a locket for him. Oh, yes. That guy used to be here at the library all the time, checking out books about sea sponges, aquatic mammals, and mythological treasures. He's a bit of a nut, if you ask me. Sea sponges, huh? When was the last time you saw him? Oh, it's been ages since he's been around. Good luck finding him. Thanks. Hmm. I would like a book. You know, I would like a book from the library. I knew you would. What can I get for you? Um... Hmm. Political intrigue. How about something historical? Right with political intrigue. Sure. Oh, I know a great one you might like. I'll be right back. Here you go. A city of two tales. An in-depth analysis of the rationale concerning the decision to leave the ocean and the inevitable return. I, uh, think I've read this one before. Thanks anyway. Uh, alright. I'd like another book. Sure. What are you looking for? How about a romance novel? A trashy romance novel. I'll be right back. I know just the thing. The Motion of the Ocean. Ooh, sounds racy. An accurate record of the spinner K tide changes over the last 50 years. Oh. You know, why don't you just hold on to this one for me? Okay. Can you get me another book? Of course. Looking for anything in particular? Uh, fiction? Maybe some light-hearted fiction. Perfect. I'll get you one of my favorites. Enjoy. The Old Man and the Seagull. It's about an old man who describes everything he sees in detail to a blind seagull while lost at sea. Oh, sounds exciting. I think I'll wait for the movie. Alright, I don't think there was anything to that. What's the deal with the building? What's the deal with this building? This is our library and cultural archives. It houses centuries worth of information about the evolution of the Vakalian people. It's also a protected national landmark, so it'll be here forever. But it's underwater. <laughs> well, of course. We sunk it. Why? The library was built during the age of terra firma, but when we as a race returned to the sea, we felt our knowledge should do the same. Doesn't that make your books all soggy? Hmm, sure does. Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna leave. That's enough book learning for now. I've got piratey things to do. Go get him, swashbuckler. Okay. Uh, well, let's, uh, take our transit pass and see where it can take us. Hello, sailor. Hello, anemone. Hi, lemonade. Hello, sailor. Um, can I ride it? Cool raft. Can I ride it? Do you have a pass? Actually, I do. Here you go. One official Vakalian transit pass. Good for 24 hours. I bet you are. 
Huh? The raft is yours for the day. Just hop on board and use it to sail anywhere within the Jerkbait Island. Thanks. So you're the one flirting now. Um, alright, I'll take the raft. And I guess I will head to Spoon Isle. Would you just give me the artifact so we can bury it and get out of here? Nope. But McGillicutty gave it to me. <coughs> I get to be the one who picks where to hide it. Sorry, I got it now. Will you at least look at me so we can work this out? <coughs> nope. I bet that's the seahorse artifact the Merleader was talking about. I wonder if they'll just let me have it. Well, looks like we've got a dispute to settle when we come back. In the meantime, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun. And check me out on twitch.tv slash chaos control channel. And then I'll see you next week for more Tales of Monkey Island. Take care. Bye-bye.